YouTube streaming a failure? Well, I'm not streaming on YouTube, so... Maybe? Did YouTube streaming <laughs> fail? I'm using past tense because according to a lot of people, it's already buried six feet under. No, it's already There's dead. It doesn't a exist anymore. Exclusive streamers it's already over done. The last month or so that have announced that they're moving. Back they're moving to back to Twitch, like Lily Peacher, for example. Lily Peacher moved back. Who else? Who else has been moving back to Twitch? Lily Peacher is the one that I remember the biggest right now. That that's in my mind right now. Who else is moving back to Twitch? Twitch or that they're going to be multi-streaming now that their YouTube contracts are up. Nux? So Nux is moving is back to Twitch? YouTube Wait! No way! Parchly? I see. Where it's basically just in purgatory, scratching at their neck, waiting to get back to Twitch. And it kind of has the same reputation Mixer did a long time ago, God rest its soul, where people that were previously on Twitch took a bag mm -hmm. from YouTube, had a little paid vacation for a year or two and then yeah. go back to Twitch eventually. And as a former full-time streamer on both platform, I feel like I'm John Constantine walking the line between worlds here. And I feel like I just have oodles of insight on this subject. Now, since I've entered my senile years, I have elected to go part-time so you can hang that jersey in the rafters. Or if you're a tier 3 sub on Twitch, no! you can go ahead and downgrade that. Ta uh, shout out to the tier threes! <laughs> that puppy, you're, you're just stop it all together, because at this point, it's kind of like the GameStop trade-in of value. You're not getting a whole lot of bang for your buck with how little I've been streaming. <laughs> Unlucky. To be fair, tier three subs are mostly just to support the streamer. Like, at least from Twitch's side, right? From Twitch's side, tier three subs aren't doing a whole lot. Like, uh, you're not getting a whole lot of support. Uh, from Twitch. Twitch isn't offering you a lot. But I'm trying I'm trying to like add some extra things in like in the future. I've like commissioned uh, an art piece and I'ma see if we can add some like extra tier three stuff for you guys to like um support the tier threes. Because I appreciate you guys. The tier threes, shout out bro. Shout out to you guys. Amazing. I love y'all. Recently. I did stream all weekend for the uh, Apex Major in Germany. We were watch partying our squad. Absolutely fucking clapping cheeks out there. Just posted a video on that as well if you'd rather just watch like the condensed version. So it's a topic I really want to explore. And it turns mm -hmm. out Ludwig already beat me to it. That rascal. Oh. So I kind of want to just go through his video <laughs> and drop rascal. some more totally winks of information. The little about rascal. All of it. Have you been noticing this trend where people who are signed. Wait. We're doing a reactception. Chat! It's a reactception! To YouTube live streaming contracts. The day their contract end, switch right back to Twitch or start multi streaming. Yeah, that's a phenomenon yep. that's more common than the cold. You would be hard pressed to find any Twitch streamers that switch to YouTube streaming and haven't and already switched back over the last <laughs> yeah. year or so to Twitch, or at the very least started multi streaming on Twitch and YouTube. There are less of them than there is hair on my chest, and look at what we're working with. <gasps> Bro, that chest was bare! Hey, yo! Everyone seemingly that switched to YouTube streaming, either through YouTube contracts or through Twitch's fumbling over the last couple of years with like some policy changes as well as like some platform just direction. <coughs> Sorry, YouTube streaming? Personally, YouTube streaming is just not it. What I would give to have that chest. <laughs> <laughs> I've got more hair on one nipple than he does on his chest. Oh my god. Bro, YouTube streaming ain't it, personally. YouTube streaming just ain't it. Um... An actual dodo Jesus an actual. just subscribed. An actual dodo Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the three months, brother. Welcome in, welcome in. Um... YouTube streaming ain't it. I don't watch live streams on YouTube. Does anyone in here watch YouTube live streams? Chad, do you watch YouTube live streams? Like... I don't know, it's just... It's just I did. It's... It's different. Yes, yes, rarely, rarely, yeah, actually. League of Mindset streams, yeah. Yeah. Only one channel, not anymore. Yep. Yeah. No. Rarely nowadays. I follow some football podcasts, okay. Mostly because of Hololife. Okay, that's fair, I guess. 
Only two channels. One postcard, one travel channel. Never tried. There's not as many features. That's the one. That's the one. Like, okay, they got emotes and shit, but... It's, it's... It's just different, you know? Not after Vertical Stream became a thing. Hmm? Gotta go, kids. I gotta take a break. See you next time. See you. Thanks for hanging out, Shaltinator. ...that people were upset with have, over the last year or so, switched back. Because Twitch started to find their footing again with some of the changes and changing things around, like reverting a couple nah, of Twitch things. Nah, Twitch is improving, well I would say. YouTube Overall, no Twitch is improving. Contracts. So, it seems like everyone's flooding back to Twitch the second Like, we can't time. put them in the john, like, on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, like, all this integrated stuff, right? YouTube and, and YouTube Live not changing isn't because they move slow. Yeah, I hate that YouTube emotes are channel locked. That too, right? Like, you can, like, from what I understand as well, like, you can only use the emotes on that specific channel, right? It's, it's very different. Channel rewards are non-existent on YouTube, true. Yeah. It's because YouTube... Oh my... Holy reactception, chat. Holy reactception. This time, it's... We're watching a video from Charlie who is reacting to a video of Ludwig, who is reacting to Dan, the CEO of Twitch, talking about YouTube, apparently. Live isn't a priority for YouTube. But your yeah, friends I... that went to YouTube are all coming back. But let, me, let, me co oh, oh, let me go that back, because I cut it off in the middle of the sentence. Like everyone's flooding back to Twitch the second they can. YouTube and, and YouTube Live not changing isn't because they move slow. It's because it's not a priority. YouTube That's Live true. isn't a priority for YouTube. It's not a priority. But they, they're, they're making YouTube, a... We're all coming back. What is going on with the mask on the bottom? Back sushi. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Dan Clancy, cool as a cucumber here. I'm actually shocked he didn't have a cigar in his mouth delivering this little speech. Like, he's basically just dancing on the grave of YouTube's he knows. reputation. In yeah, the he just eye. knows. There was he a just knows, so it's not a priority for everyone, YouTube. everyone, myself included, thought YouTube was going to be a real threat to Twitch's market They're share. They're not. Because Twitch has had the streaming ecosystem in a titty twister for years. They've had the nipple clamps on those honkers. <laughs> And YouTube started to get a lot of momentum with streamers that were native to Twitch switching to YouTube even without a contract. Yeah, YouTube is doing shorts and stuff. No, you do prefer shoving shorts in your face than uh, than improving live streams. Yeah, no, they have said nah. Twitch can have live streaming. We'll get the shorts. We'll we'll fight TikTok now. <laughs> but it seems most streamers grew tired of YouTube doing absolutely nothing besides letting the streaming element of their site wither, fester, and die. So. Pretty much all of them have switched back to Twitch at this point, except for the ones that are still under contract or banned from Twitch. But there was a moment where it really did... That's also one of the reasons I'm not dual streaming, by the way. Because if I somehow get banned on Twitch, because something TOS happens when I'm live streaming, if I'm dual streaming, I'm more, more than likely going to get banned on YouTube too, because of the same reason, whatever the fuck was happening on the stream. And like that, both are gone. Just like that, both are going to be gone. And I'd rather not. I'd rather still have, you know, that safe spot there. It seemed like YouTube was encroaching on Twitch's stranglehold. Always have a plan B, industry. yep. And at the height of this, Dan Clancy was interviewed asking, are they panicking? Are they worried about Twitch users switching to rival platforms? Nope, Is that Twitch don't care. Is Twitch going to do anything to keep users and streamers on their site. YouTube is it was becoming also public the knowledge at this time that Twitch had completely stopped doing contracts for even their biggest streamers. They just put the kibosh on contracts entirely. And Dan Clancy just said, nope. In fact, he encouraged everyone to try alternatives. Like if they want to stream on YouTube and kick... Yeah, go, go on, try. Go See how online. shit it is. He said... Go on. <laughs> See how shit it is. You'll come back crawling to us anyway. He believed that all of them would be back to Twitch because he believed in the platform being the best that streaming had to offer. I have to say, although Twitch is being really fucking shitty, it is still the best. Out of everything we have, it's still the best. Thank you, sub. Thank you. Just subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sick Bullet. Psych Z Bullet. Thank you.
You sub before you followed. Giga chat. Giga chat. Thank and you. It seems like his bet has paid off so far. Time for bet. Good night. Like I accursed it. I accursed. Sorry. It seems most streamers that went to other platforms are all starting to flop. And back before the first Twitch. chat, yeah. You know, when Myth ended his YouTube contract, I believe he he took a break. He stopped streaming on YouTube. Lily, the moment her contract Lily ended, back. switched back over to Twitch. Yep, uh, she's Dr. Back. Luke Ball, when his contract ended, started multi-streaming. Uh, I mean, shit, Tim the Tatman today said he was going Tim to the start multi-streaming on Twitch and YouTube. Oh and my look, god, that's the name I've heard on forever. better on Twitch after three years, I think, on YouTube uh, than it is wow. right now on YouTube. And that's wow. a pretty crazy thing. So wow. the perception and the fear for a lot of streamers was if they left Twitch, if they ever decided to come back, their viewership wouldn't be what it once was or their sub count it's would going... be significantly lower. No, it's going to be but good. But time and time again, it you'll seems be, like that's just be not fine. the case. Not you'll just be in the fine. top man, but there's been other streamers that have gone to other platforms that have come back to Twitch and have been in pretty much the exact same spot that they left off. The thing is, people don't like change. People don't like th change. Like... A lot of people just don't want to go somewhere else. They like the platform the way it is. They they just like it. They don't want change. They want to stay on Twitch if they want to watch someone. And if that person suddenly is switching to YouTube, they just stop watching them. Stream visibility is a lot better on YouTube compared to Twitch. That is true. I agree. That is true. Visibility, stream visibility, and um, discoverability, especially, is very bad on Twitch. It's not non-existent, but it's bad. It's bad. But it's way better on YouTube. It's not people don't like change, they're scared of it. Fair. <laughs> Often, no matter how many years had passed, everybody knows when you switch platforms, your audience doesn't necessarily follow you. Twitch you're definitely the not getting app? a whole kit and caboodle to come over to the new platform that Probably you come priority. to. Probably another priority. I'm thinking not a lot of people were using it. I just think not a lot of people were using it. That's simply it. I think people are just using it on the browser already. You know. Get like even a fraction of it. Like yeah, you'll yeah, get there like was huge peaks up. for the first couple of streams with people. Like, I tried it. You know. I'm not a big just fan. To check it out. But I that was. audience you built up on the previous platform, <laughs> no. they're most likely just going to go back to that. But not a that's lot. the platform they're most comfortable on. So if you're not on it, they'll probably just find another streamer and maybe they'll occasionally yeah. tune into you on the other yeah. platform. But for the most part, they don't get converted to the new platform that you've switched to. So with the example here, Tim the Tapman, he built up a YouTube streaming audience. And now that he went back to Twitch, that Twitch audience he used to have, it seems like they're still using Twitch. And look to be mm, receptive to Tim the Tatman being back on their preferred platform. So his viewership has kind of stayed pretty much the same there. And nothing fucking changed. He's literally doing better on Twitch. And you might be wondering, okay, why are streamers switching back to Twitch? Well, one, might be because they do better. They get more viewers. Uh, two, it's because they also make more money. <laughs> I saw someone say sub subs. The subs. The subs. The sub system is better than the membership system in YouTube. On paper, I would say, on paper, on paper, memberships are better. On paper, memberships, I think, are better because they're so highly customizable. But within that lies the problem. I feel like within that lies the problem that any, like, any YouTube streamer can do whatever the fuck they want to with their memberships. They can price it however the fuck they want to. They can give you whatever the fuck they want to. And within that lies the problem. People don't like change. And if everyone has something different, it just keeps changing from everyone, you know? Cal, by the way, uh, earlier, I didn't answer it. I apologize. I'm not making up messages here. Uh, we are at 6.3. Right, so you have an official number? Join it up. Also, hype trains. Hype trains on Twitch, right? Hype trains are a huge thing. The biddies. People only change for things they love. Yes. Yes. We got hype trains. We got biddies. We got multiple tiers. You can gift in YouTube. On YouTube, the creator has to. No, no sorry, not the creator. If I remember correctly, the viewer has to opt in that they're allowed to re receive 
a gifted membership from a specific channel. If I'm not mistaken right now. So basically gifted subscriptions, gifted memberships are basically not a thing. That sounds very backward. It is very backwards. It is very, very backwards. So, yeah, of course, as a streamer, you're gonna, like, from streaming, you're gonna make more money on Twitch because of gifted subs. Gifted subs are the bread and butter of a Twitch streamer. Probably closer to 6'5", if I had to guess. And Tim basically says he got 6,500 subs in one single stream on wow. Twitch. And on YouTube, he had 14,000 subs. So he basically got almost half his subscriber count in one day. So he's going wow. to start making more money from Twitch subs than he ever did from YouTube members. Of memory. course. That is another huge thing. That one is a big old fucking set to wumbo explanation for why a lot of people will switch back to Twitch. Is that why I keep getting gifted sub to random VT? But yes, on Twitch... On Twitch, if the streamer runs out of people, they can get someone can gift a, a sub to, they will pull out a random ass person. A random ass person. There has to be some sort of algorithm behind it, but it really feels random. Usually, it's people that already watch VTubers. Like, I'm guessing there is some sort of algorithm. But it's like, sometimes it's literally people that have never heard of your channel. Isn't it something like you had to be a recent viewer in the last 10-ish minutes? No. 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 I uh, had someone followed. I followed someone because a stream I rated uh, into them. So I followed them. Then I decided, wait, I don't actually like the content, so some days after, I unfollowed them again. So I just went into their stream to unfollow. No, the stream was off at the time even, so I had like maybe five minutes of view viewership on that their stream, on the streamer's stream. I just didn't like the content, so I went to unfollow them, right? And some days after that, I got a gifted sub from... I got a random gifted sub there. So, there is some sort of algorithm to it. I don't know what the algorithm is. You can also sometimes get a subscription gifted to someone you have never watched. Apparently, I was gifted a sub yesterday and noticed just today. Welcome in. Enjoy your sub, enjoy your emotes. Uh, have fun with them. Speaking of, I just got gifted a sub on Iron Mouse's channel. Well, <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> The earning potential on YouTube streams is substantially lower than it is on Twitch. Twitch is a platform with culture. Chat experience on Twitch has always and will always be better than YouTube. Period. Also, I would say gifted subs like that, like especially subatons, are actually really good for discoverability on Twitch. It's like... It's like a little bit pay to win kind of situation. Or like, kind of, you know? Because the person that gets gifted the sub will see, yo, I got gifted the sub there. Let's click in. And then they're like, yo, I actually like this channel. Yay! Pay to win. But others are the ones paying. Yeah, basically. <laughs> YouTube chat is the worst thing you can experience. Yeah, I don't like YouTube chat at all, man. I don't like YouTube live chat at all. Hands down, there's nothing YouTube can do to really beat that, and it doesn't seem like YouTube's even trying. They're just waving the white flag on that. They're they're just eating the huge fucking L on just having a bad chat experience compared to Twitch. But also, Twitch just has a culture of subbing. Like Twitch has yeah. prime subs. It's a huge which is culture. Something you can do for free. Oh yeah, for your yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right. And prime subs. Yeah, I've I, I've completely forgotten about prime subs, man, bro. Prime such prime subs, huge, huge. He's he's gonna talk about it. I'll let him talk. Like holy shit, prime is so good. Streamer, <laughs> where you sub to them with Twitch Prime and it's free for you, and the streamer gets paid. Yeah, like that is a deal YouTube yep. just can't match, and it's yeah. extremely beneficial to the streamers on Twitch. So Tim the Tap Man can make in one day what it took three years for him to make on YouTube. At least when it comes to like membership numbers versus sub numbers 
So YouTube has a sub equivalent with members. Sorry, but I'll, I'll read the message in a moment. Don't even know it exists. Also, it's not even functional on mobile. You have to go outside of the YouTube app, like on like a different browser on your phone, in order to even find the join button for most channels. Like really? Wait. Chat, do you know? <laughs> Chat, is this true? Yeah? Yikes. 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 Yikes, 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 yikes. Oh my god. Goofy, eh? Yeah, man. I'm gonna check right now. Okay. I've seen the difference between chats and some channels that dual stream. YouTube chat is consistently much more toxic for some reason, but bigger audience. That's crazy. For some reason, I would have expected uh, Twitch to be more toxic. That's crazy. That's crazy. Probably depends on country, you think? I, don't, I wouldn't think so. Why would some countries get a membership o a button option and some don't? Like on the app, you know? Like if it was still rolling out, sure. But it's not been rolling out. Like, it's not something that's integrated into YouTube streaming. So most streamers on YouTube will never come close to the amount of subs a Twitch streamer will have. And they won't even come close to the amount of money a Twitch streamer earns if they are streaming on YouTube. So that's another yep, but, but, really enticing reason why a Twitch lot of people bursty. that were streaming... Twitch is more bursty and chat is m well, YouTube chat is more constant and updating. Also, you know, to read Twitch chat, in my opinion. Hmm, interesting. Both chats can be toxic, but Twitch got the tools to weed out the bad apples even before people see it all mod, among other tools. You think YouTube doesn't have a tool for that? I'm not sure if it does since I Okay, I can't say I never streamed on YouTube. I did. But that's years ago. And I don't remember. I don't remember. I had like no viewers. <laughs> YouTube doesn't have that? Really? Wow. Streaming on YouTube are going back to Twitch. Also, another obvious one is discoverability. The yeah. main critique yeah. of YouTube streaming since its inception has been how hard it is to navigate and how difficult it is to even find streams in the fucking first place. And they have done little to improve that. Any channels that have found success streaming on YouTube are channels that already had an audience before they started streaming or had an audience from elsewhere really? that came in for those YouTube streams. Anyone that's just starting with streaming on YouTube, it's... Okay, I guess when we talk YouTube discoverability is better, it's like generally. Uh, generally, not just live streaming, but generally a YouTuber. Compared to... Compared to, like, Twitch overall. It's not going to bring in any viewers because discoverability is non-existent. YouTube is actually really good when it comes to, like, event streams, though. So this is something Ludwig also talks about. If a big moment happens in an event, like Grand Finals is going on in some kind of big tournament, and a lot of people start flooding in, well, YouTube rec YouTube streaming is already for established audience and short. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's, that's a good uh, way to describe it. Watched a video the other day that said it's just as hot for discoverability on Twitch too. Recognizes mm. that and then actually starts recommending that stream outside of the normal little bubble, like the quarantine unit that it keeps streams in. So, so then better you than actually kick. Really get some eyes on it. But if you're like <laughs> yep. just daily streaming normal shit or just starting out stream, you're not going to have that stream go to anyone outside of whatever audience you've already booked. Oh yeah, and rating apparently is also not really a thing on YouTube. Like, rating is a huge uh, Twitch culture thing, right? Rating is a huge thing not on Twitch. Into it. You have better odds of writing your YouTube handle on a paper airplane and throwing it out of your window and hoping a neighbor sees it and checks it out <laughs> than you do just streaming on YouTube and relying on them to push it. It doesn't happen. Whereas on Twitch, even though there are so many streamers to compete with in every category, your odds of being seen are higher. Your potential to have some viewers trickle in is just higher on Twitch. If you look at the most watched major Oops. streaming platforms... <coughs> if you are like a no name, literally someone who just starts streaming and streams... God forbid, League of Legends. Maybe you're lucky. 
if you're new streamer, maybe you're lucky. It's very hard at the start. It's very, very, very fucking hard at the start. Here's some... Here's some streamer knowledge. Here's some VIP Twitch knowledge for you, chat. And if this goes on to YouTube, if this reception does go on to YouTube, here's some... Here's some Twitch algorithm knowledge for you, chat. If, let's say... Let's say I raid someone. Let's say I raid Kids of the Stream. What is your wisdom? Let's say me, Kitsunero, goes to stream Iron Mouse. Oh, uh, sorry. To raid Iron Mouse. And then what I need to do, what I need to do as the streamer, I need to be a little bit active on the stream. I need to chat a little bit. I need to chat for like five, ten minutes. Be active there. Now what the algorithm is going to do, what they're going to do, what the algorithm is going to do now is to viewer X. Let's say, let's say Turkeys. Let's say Turkeys has never found me. Let's say Turkeys never watched me. Thank you for being my guinea pig, Turkeys. Let's say she never watched me. She has no idea who I am. Let's say she's an Iron Mouse viewer. Now, next day, like she was there when I raided. She was there when I raided Iron Mouse. So she was there and saw, oh, Kitsunero just raided Iron Mouse. Yo. But she didn't go and check me out. She didn't click anything or like that. But suddenly, some next day, she's on Twitch again. And suddenly, Twitch will be like, Viewers who watch Iron Mouse also watch Hitsu. Oh, algorithm doing discoverability magics. <laughs> so basically, what Twitch does, there is some algorithm within rating that uh, viewers who watch X person are also going to be recommended to Y. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. I get this is hypothetical, but why would you rate Iron Mouse? It was the first streamer that came to my mind. That's why people rate bigger streamers. That is why people rate bigger streamers. By the way, I, I got this information from Twitch employees. I got this information from Twitch employees. Okay? This is, this is some, this is some VIP knowledge right here. <laughs> Happy birthday. By hours watch of live broadcasts, quarter two of this year, YouTube gaps Twitch. It's not close. Three times bigger. 15 uh, a billion. However, that doesn't exactly tell the full story. Because if you look at this, you also have Nerd, to include, yeah. you know, some people like YouTube's biggest live streamer by hours watched, which is not iShow Speed. It is Lo-Fi Girl. Yeah, so oh. Just look oh. Now that makes a lot of sense. I'm... You guys know Lo-Fi Girl. We all know Lo-Fi Girl. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so just looking at the cold, hard car facts here, looking at these numbers, taking a peek under the hood, it looks like on the surface YouTube is slapping Twitch around when it comes to these numbers. But it's really not. Because these numbers are bloated just by the sheer volume of streams that are going yeah. on that are just literally always on. So like Lo-Fi Girl... Lofa goes Probably always the biggest on. stream in the world when it comes to watch hours. Like, the watch time on that is absurd because it's 24-7 nonstop with tens of thousands of viewers that are idly just listening to it in the background. Yeah. Or on while they sleep. Anyone here, some, like, anyone in here listening to Lofa Girl? Bro, I haven't actually listened to her in forever. I gotta do that again. I gotta do that again. Oh, so boy. it's not, like, the healthiest number that they have here. It's just yeah. the biggest one. So it doesn't really tell the full story. And um, that also mentions should. some other Super very, chill. very popular streams on YouTube that really inflate the fuck out of those numbers. Things like... Dota Disrespect was on YouTube, right? I don't... Is he, is he streaming again? <laughs> Did he come back to streaming? <laughs> Lo-fi girl or videos playing on loop or what there's a bunch of on YouTube live, which is scams. In fact, one of the biggest <laughs> live streams right now on YouTube is Tesla. Except what? it's not Tesla. It is a scam account with 20,000 subscribers with 86,000 bots watching to what? get to credibility. 
What? So people click on it who aren't part of the bot number. Raccoon meme and love, uh, welcome in. And then they lose all their crypto. Do not scan this code. I've been showing this as an example of YouTube's corrupt. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, why there's a black bar on the screen. What problem. the fuck? If anybody actually scanned that QR code from Ludwig's video, I believe that it is now Ludwig's responsibility to pay you back for all of your lost crypto. He is liable now because Ludwig got the live you. chat. Oh, I okay. have the decency to censor the scam QR code. Ah. I'm just being ah. a little geekster. If anyone actually... <laughs> Thank you. He scans that QR code and loses all their crypto. They 100% deserve kind of being them. an unfathomably stupid buffoon. I will never be able to wrap <laughs> my head so around stupid. who actually falls for those. I, I truly don't understand it like i know the default answer is like old people i don't believe that because they probably don't have crypto in the first place uh, yeah right but anyway what ludwig is highlighting here is that these scams have tons and tons of viewership last for quite a long time thus bump those numbers up on the youtube streaming hours mm. and Makes they're sense, not then. real like you can probably find 10 of these streams fake, going on right fake now viewers. like that also but, tells me the scam must be pretty successful. There must be some people falling for it. Right? I don't know how, you absolute imbeciles. But there's tons of them happening all the time. Inflating you those imbeciles! Numbers, and YouTube doesn't do anything about it. It doesn't seem. Like actual streamers, actual people who are streaming video games. Well, then the contest becomes a lot more Roblox. Fair. And there's still a lot of huge streamers. I mean, look, Steak right now is live with 41,000 viewers. That is massive. That is a huge stream. When you look at the actual streams Wait, going how on many did he say? Sentient human beings be sorry, sorry, sorry. How many? 41,000. That is a huge stream. When you look at the actual streams going Steep on time. with Good night, sentient class, human Thanks for hanging. behind them, the number gets a lot lower than you would expect given the huge number that you can see in the data. Especially when you look at gaming in particular, the number there is lower than Twitch. Twitch is beating oh. them like my meat in that department. So if I were to rephrase the question, <laughs> is YouTube live streaming a failure? In America? In English yeah, speaking countries? Yeah, probably. Kind of. Yeah, maybe a little bit. They're not doing as well as people thought they would. Across the world? Fuck no. They're doing amazing. They are crushing. Japan. And like whole life. this is true if you watch VTubers. There it is. VTubers crush on YouTube, man. All of Asia seems to prefer YouTube for a live streaming platform. And it makes That's sense. That's interesting. And this is something... I it makes sense, does it? I've been saying for a while as well. Internationally, YouTube streaming is huge. I mean, I guess to keep like all their income on one platform, but maybe? in America, it's definitely second fiddle to Twitch. The biggest breakout star on YouTube streaming is obviously iShow Speed. But outside of Speed, all the other big English-speaking streamers are on Twitch. But internationally, yeah. YouTube's doing very well. Ludwig also gave an example about how uh, Twitch abandoned South Korea recently, so there's- Oh yeah, all... that's true too! Yeah, wait, absolutely true! Places that are preferring YouTube for I completely forgot about that, man. America. And another thing- you... Rest in peace, uh, uh, South- Sorry, South Korean brothers? Yeah, I think so. YouTube's player is just better than Twitch's. You can rewind the stream if you want to. Yep, why is there no rewind function? Why is there no rewind function? Then, please, give us a rewind function! Come on, make it an actual player! Dude, the bitrate is higher, the streams look better. So if you're someone that just likes to kick back and watch a stream... Oh yeah, but apparently um, Twitch wants to go 4K now, you know? ...and not really interact at all, you... You have to go to the clipping to try and rewind, yeah. Clipping is also really... Like, clipping as well, man. Clipping. Now that you mentioned it, clipping is a huge thing on Twitch. And YouTube? Clipping is kind of awkward. Me who tried to rewind kids' stream earlier. <laughs> like, if you wanna rewind the stream, you gotta have to hope that the stream is auto-uploading the VODs. Because then you can go and look at pro past broadcasts right away. Because... Let me show you, actually. I will be there. You will be, will be able to see it. Because I auto-upload my VODs. I do auto-upload my VODs. Channel... Like, I'll, I'll show you. You go here, you click it to narrow, you go to videos, you go to past broadcasts, and here we are right now. Usually has a question mark if it's the current one. You see?
this is this is this is us right now you can go here or you can look at it basically yeah is there mm -mm. that's one way but you know it's not the same you can if you really needed to go and look at something that was that happened like five minutes ago you can go and look at it but there's no true rewinding and they should add that they should absolutely add that to clip on youtube you have to go through a giant hassle all right yeah it's really weird i think here clip youtube's player is now going... i clip here and now something here appears and then i click share clip and i don't know it's a weird system it's so YouTube's weird YouTube's player is going to be very enticing and probably going to be the preferred platform for you but a lot of people who watch streaming watch streaming because they like the interactive element of it and that's yeah. where twitch yeah 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 yeah, yeah. youtube 100 percent bits hype train so rating people well i'm not gonna say a lot of people everybody prefers everybody. the twitch chat experience yes. like there's very few yes. people that like the youtube chat experience because there really isn't one like even going to the biggest streams you're not twitch, going to see a um, whole bitties, lot going on subs, in the chat redeems. aside from like some spam so many things that can happen on the stream like bro Here holy there, shit but the twitch, interactions see, like, the interactivity something else on top of that i wasn't even thinking of this sound alerts like even thinking of this yes uh but, but, but where's my channel about no chat where's here my channel? here's the life this like extensions extensions there's so many extensions you see this this is how i snooze the ads yeah i just snooze the ads for you my experience as someone who mostly lurks is pretty similar on both platforms. I mean, for lurking, yeah, sure. YouTube is actually more convenient to pause and walk away when I have something to do. That is fair. Of course, interactions is far better on Twitch. Yeah, no, if you're mostly a lurker, I'd, I'd guess that the interactions would be... Not the interactions, that the experience would mostly be similar. Apart from that YouTube, you can literally actively pause it. Hi, keep so dropping in to say hello. Hey, hey, Peanut, how you doing? What's up? We are just watching a video in the middle of a reaction to YouTube. Is YouTube streaming a failure? Discussions happening in chat or like a bunch of like inside jokes and all kinds of shit that just makes it feel like a real community. Jackie, thanks for the follow. As opposed to on YouTube's hey, hey, chat hey. experience. Overall, I have a Simp. similar takeaway <laughs> as Ludwig when it comes to whether or not YouTube streaming is a failure. Overall, it's not because it's doing so well internationally, but when it comes to English speaking, uh, streaming content it definitely is well behind twitch yes yeah. it is gaining a little bit but more and more streamers are just switching back to twitch a lot of the influx came from seeing big streamers come to youtube and people following that path and now that even more are going back to twitch i think that's going to continue to happen but yeah it doesn't mean youtube streaming as a whole is dead or a complete failure it's not it dead, just really but it's really its bad in america <laughs> it's just I do really know, bad with ludwig on a pretty big thing which mm -hmm. is multi-streaming i started okay. multi-streaming almost a year ago now and i actually think it was an incredibly good decision like when he's saying multi-streaming is he like multi-streaming actively at the same time or like sometimes on youtube sometimes on twitch when he says multi-streaming which does he mean like does he differentiate between multi-streaming and dual streaming and one that i still believe is a very smart decision for many streamers regardless of their size ludwig believes that multi-streaming isn't great because it makes your viewers both spread at the out. same time so okay. it basically splits them splinters them between two platforms which makes it very difficult to reach the consistently high highs of some of like the top streamers on twitch by being married to one platform in particular you can cultivate that audience and grow it there so that way you're at the top of those categories consistently like on twitch or something so you'll keep getting new viewers and reach insane peak viewership because as i mean i feel like ludwig does have a point i want to hear what his counterpoint to that is though i feel like that, that's a pretty good more point people find you more people talk about you and it just keeps feeding that fire as opposed yeah. to having a lower number on that platform because some of the viewers are watching you on a different platform. So then not as many people are seeing it and talking about it. And 
my take on that is also too if you have like two different chats at the same time it feels like your communities are split like i as a streamer like also i as a streamer i just prefer if my community can talk to each other like imagine uh, half of the people on twitch and half on youtube while you dual streaming and they can't even talk to each other like huh well what's the point like, what, what's the point i love seeing you guys interact with each other i love that so much yes it's fun to talk hello mods <laughs> like i get the point but i do think that being on two different platforms is reaching two different audiences and i think that's pretty clear looking at like tim the tap man here right like his YouTube number is lower than his Twitch number, even though he started as a Twitch streamer and spent three years as a YouTube streamer. It's pretty clear that those have to be different viewers that are being reached. And I think there's a lot of value. I mean, that's a fair that. point. For one, I think it's that's better a fair point, for actually. viewers because you give them the option to watch you on their favorite That platform. it's two different so people. The viewers yeah, that, for okay. YouTube can watch you there if they want like the better player or they can watch you on Twitch if they want the better interactive experience with chat. And I think it's good for the streamer too because you're reaching two separate audiences at the same time. The YouTube audience and You know what? Fair point. Fair point of my role that it's two different audiences. Fair, fair, fair. The Twitch audience, yes, there's definitely going to be overlap, but it's not like it's the same audience on both platforms that's been fractured. It's a fair point. Personally, I still prefer to having the community in one spot. Like everyone being like together. It's two separate kind of ones. Thing. And I think there's definitely benefits there. Because if he wasn't multi-streaming, for example, he was only on Twitch, the 11,000 people on YouTube that were watching Tim might not be watching God damn him it. I need to interrupt this. I, I need to go to the toilet. I need to edit this video. Too bad. I need to go to the toilet. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm, okay, let's Twitch go a tiny bit back. Let's we'll rewind a couple seconds audience on both platforms that's been fractured it's two separate ones and i think there's oh yeah right yeah that's very rare because if he wasn't they are, yeah for example he was only on twitch the eleven thousand people on youtube that were watching tim might not be watching him on twitch so he'd stay at seventeen thousand over there and completely miss out on eleven thousand eyeballs from youtube plus there is the added benefit that youtube vods are significantly better than twitch vods so when he finishes that multi-stream his YouTube stream immediately saves it's already as a video there. <laughs> to his channel in the live tab that viewers can go back. I mean, as said, if you enable it on Twitch, you can instantly have the VOD on Twitch. But who really watches VOD on Twitch? I know a handful of people. I know a handful of people that do. But overall, people don't. Overall, people do not. I can watch. And also, that gets put into the algorithm pretty often. There I are do. Pop up and recommended, <laughs> even if you're not someone already watching streams on YouTube, if there's some type of overlap in the algorithm between what video you watched and what stream gets popped up. So it also helps you in that regard, reaching a new audience that maybe found you through a VOD and then chooses to watch you on YouTube. So I just really think there's a lot of things that make multi-streaming a good idea regardless of how big a streamer is. I think it's a very, very good idea for someone that's just starting out streaming because you want to lat spread as much as possible to get your lats exposed to whoever is on whatever platform. Mm, if a new streamer where to start streaming? Where should they start streaming? What do you guys think? What is your guys' opinion on where a new streamer should start streaming? I think even though... Like, let, let's don't, let's don't do, let's not do both. Let's say they only have the option to stream on one. Let's say the internet is poo poo caca, right? Let's say the internet is shit. The PC is blah. I would say Twitch. Twitch for posting YouTube videos. Yeah. But I mean, just purely streaming. I would say Twitch. Twitch is just a wall better. Editing YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah TikTok. TikTok streaming. I have not tried TikTok streaming. TikTok is a weird one. Well, let's say YouTube uh, uh, versus Twitch. Twitch feels much nicer, I think. Twitch does feel much nicer. Twitch does feel much nicer. It's only filled with NPCs? Yeah. Yeah, TikTok streaming is only filled with NPCs, bro. NPCs and kids. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, TikTok. Yeah, I think Twitch is better. I think Twitch for a new streamer is better as well. Platform. Just spread. I mean, even the affiliate pro program is very easily reachable, right? I'm sorry for instantly pausing, but the affiliation pro uh, program on and Twitch is so easy. It's do you need fifty followers? You need to have streamed on how much is it? You need to have streamed Oh shit, I forgot, man. Uh you need to have an average of three viewers. You need to have an average of three viewers, fifty followers, twenty hours streamed, is that the one? I can probably go into the achievements. I don't think that's an issue. Create a dashboard. Uh, bu bu yeah, whatever. Create the dashboard. Analytics. Achievements. Where are sh achievements? Achievements. Achievements. Path to affiliate. Eight hours streamed. Seven different days. Stream on seven different days. That's the one. That's what I was thinking. I was like thinking there's something with seven. Stream for seven days in a row? And that didn't make sense. Yeah. Stream on seven different days. Stream for eight hours, 50 followers, three average viewers. That's what you gotta do to get affiliate. That's how you get your subscriber button. What if the three viewers are all myself? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If it's an average of three viewers, if you somehow get three different devices going on that you have that average as long as it's three average doesn't matter doesn't matter if it's just you three times on different devices as long as the the viewer number here says like as long as this viewer number where, where's the viewer number where do i see how many viewers i have oh here i'm in the way as long as this little number here says three you're Wow. Wow, we just dropped. We just dropped from 149 to 141. What the fuck? What the fuck? 50 follows is what the real requirement is. Yeah, but it's not hard to get that either. It's not hard at all. Do a little bit of advertising on Twitter, on friends, have your family's friends. It's, it's not hard. It's not hard to get affiliated on Twitch at all. Meanwhile, on YouTube, YouTube is a whole different bitch. YouTube is a whole different bitch, man. Meaty1994, thanks for following. Just make 50 accounts. Technically, technically could work. Technically. <laughs> I don't know if that's allowed within the TOS. But legally, I don't know. Technically, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Who would know? <laughs> Twitch would know. And your wings as far as But can they do ban you? Yeah. As many platforms as right? You can, I think it's huh? great Who cares? for anyone that's just starting with streaming. Which I know Ludwig does agree with. He mentions that. And he also mentions that multi streaming is optimal for events. He thinks that's the one that makes the most sense. And he's right. Multi-streaming events is a great idea because it puts the event in front of so many other eyeballs. But I do really think it's a very viable strategy for just daily consistent streamers as well. It just puts your content to more people and I don't think it necessarily fractures your viewership all that much because I really am starting to believe there isn't a ton of overlap between Twitch viewers and YouTube viewers. I think they stay in their own pockets with their preferred platform. He has a point with that. I think, like, I actually do think he does have a point. I don't think YouTube live stream watchers will go over to Twitch. I mean, I have a lot of people that did say they usually don't like Twitch, but they came over because of me. Hello. Yeah, hello. I appreciate you guys. Am I the exception? You might be. So I don't even think you take a huge viewership hit when you start multi-streaming. When I started multi-streaming, I was averaging like 11 or 12,000 viewers on Twitch. And then I started multi-streaming and then I, my average on Twitch went down to like eight or 9,000. So it was a little bit, but then I gained 
about 15,000 on YouTube. So, yeah. you know, it really doesn't seem like it's that big of a trade-off when it comes to multi-streaming. I really think it's more positives than negatives. But I'm not gonna lie, Twitch notifications are just as sudden as YouTube ones, so I miss streams regardless. Yeah, the notification issues? Both platforms have notification issues. Neither of one wins. Neither of one wins here. If you really want to stay up to date with everything, Discord. Absolutely join the Discord. Join the streamer's Discord. Join my Discord. I do go on live notifications. I usually have a bot doing it. Today the bot doesn't want to do it, so my mods did it for me. So yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to yap about this as a part-time streamer. Just kind of wanted to weigh <laughs> in here. That's about it. See ya. See ya. Oh, Did well done. Well, that's it. I joined and the mods scare me. <laughs> My mods are harmless. The mods are harmless. They don't get fed enough to do anything. The mods don't get fed enough to do anything. Don't worry about them. They're harmless. They are very harmless. They pretend they're big boys, but no, they're, they're just sweethearts. The mods are sweethearts. They, they couldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Access Life, two days ago. Yay! The mods are fine, thank God. Was worried for a second. <laughs> the mods are fine. No, no, no. The mods are okay. The mods are okay. What's up, Core? What's up, what's up? <laughs> mm, not enough energy to exit the basement. Yeah, exactly. They can't harm anyone. They don't have enough energy. <laughs> Either way... That will be it for this video. Thanks for watching, YouTubes. Join the stream! Bye! There, placed my stream marker. What you're watching? We were watching Charlie. We were just talking about the YouTube streaming failure. It's not high, YouTube. The video's over. Video's over. Show's over. Leave! <laughs> no, wait. Don't leave. Don't leave. Stay. The stream is still here. <laughs> stream is still going.